ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ நவ் ஐ ஸ்டார்ட் தி ஸ்டடி வித் ஓவர் சென்சிட்டிவ் பேஷன்ஸ் சாப்டர் இன் கேன்ஸ் லெக்சர்ஸ் ஆன் பிலாசபி drug poisoning such as we referred to in the last lecture is not always due to the prescribing of crude drugs if you work long among sensitive patients you will come across those who have been actually poisoned by the inappropriate administration of potentized medicine not only drug poisoning will affect not only with crude medicines but also with the potentized medicines by by inappropriate administration these are over sensitive patients who have received repeated doses of medicine medicine after the medicine and the dose that was homeopathic to their condition was administered even though the uh, um, medicine is homeopathic to their condition and even though it is similar after uh, repeated administrations sometimes in over sensitive patients this poisoning effects will be there if a drug that is really homeopathic to the case is continued after enough has been given to cure a miasm is established in some cases by that drug and this miasm imitates one of the chronic diseases or one of the uh, acute miasms in accordance with its ability <laughs> even even after getting cured of their malady with the given treatment without notice if we continue admin, uh, the administration of the same remedy, remedy even after cure what happens is the uh, with the effects of that remedy by over using <laughs> deep medicines like lecithin sulfur and other deep remedies even though when they are indicated really even though they are exactly similar but by frequent repetition of those medicines and in over sensitive patients when they are partially indicated and they are being given frequently they will leave the bad effects of the remedy kent says he knew a case we have the bad effects of lecithin for more than 8 years 7 to 8 years the symptoms of the drug crop out periodically years after it has been abused and the periodical attacks are perfectly typical of the drug the mineral substances which are perfectly harmless on the crude plane may be poisonous on the dynamic plane when the patient is over there are persons who can drink a glass of milk with impunity uh, and be nourished by by it but upon whom a drop of milk potentized to a high degree and repeated uh, repeated beyond its homeopathicity will establish a miasm that will last for years <laughs> even in crude form when milk is milk helps them sometimes in over sensitive patients when the same milk is potentized in the given as a remedy that may produce po- poisonous effects a prover of lacaninum had a return of its symptoms periodically she was an over sensitive and brewed the medicine indiscriminately and has suffered ever since from its poisonous effects whereas if it had been given prudently the disease would have established itself upon the body like any other acute miasm uh, would uh, would have run its course and disappeared so he he has observed a case poisoning of poisoning with lacaninum potentized milk it is unwise to make provings upon over sensitive subjects in that way i tested a very high potency of lecithin on an over sensitive patient uh, giving but a single dose 
and that patient uh, ran the course of uh, the lacazette disease in about 2 months the symptoms disappeared and never returned fortunately he has given only one dose to the over sensitive patient all the symptoms of lacazette have established its picture in the patient but fortunately in two, in 2 months uh, in 2 months it has disappeared and never returned while the lacazette was in progress the patient's chronic symptoms were suppressed but after it ran its course and it disappeared uh, her chronic symptoms came back this is in accordance with the doctor she was over sensitive and while the dissimilar lacazette disease was in full blast her chronic disease was, was suppressed because when the dissimilar diseases two dissimilar diseases are working in a, in a constitution what happens that he has explained previously which one is more stronger it will it will suspend the already existing disease and it it will continue its course and later the original disease will again come back in in the same way the lacazette disease has was there for her because it was more stronger her chronic conditions were suppressed and after the uh, lacazette uh, disease was eliminated her original symptoms again returned there are instances when such a patient is truly homeopathic to a remedy and if that remedy be repeated after enough i mean in the internal sense has been given to cure it it ceases its homeopathic relations and acting through the general susceptibility creates a miasm upon this extremely sensitive patient <laughs> when a patient is hypersensitive you must avoid to use uh, use of the cm and uh, other very high potencies which will make you your patient sick and use instead the 30 and 200 so we should be very careful in uh, while in administering remedies in very sensitive or sensitive patient okay. in, in administering remedies in over sensitive patient if we do normally when there are mental when the mental symptoms are prominent if we administer directly 50 mr cm or mm or dm potency definitely it will increase and it will worsen so in those over sensitive cases instead of giving the higher potency you try to give 30 or 200 and slowly you observe the action of the remedy and response of the patient and then you can slowly increase otherwise it will be very harmful see very how clearly he is explaining we should have been uh, able to meet with many more real natural homeopathic cures of this kind if on the other hand the attention of observers had been more directed to them and on the other hand uh if nature had not been so deficient in in helpful diseases in a, in a helpful homeopathic diseases hanemann in 46 aphorism gives examples of these natural cures we occasionally meet with the with these cures now we find patients that are threatened with thysis uh, go to the south because it has been proved that south cases uh, such cases uh, can go into Uh, vitiated climate uh, and stay for a number of years and actually receive benefit from this disease producing neighborhood and go away well so um, the natural uh, things which will cure the condition that also he is explaining others go into a climate more wholesome and they are not cured the myasms can cure all similar diseases and curing substances the curing substances are in attenuated form the evils that arise from these swamps are similar to the evils of the economy of the patient and that similitude is an, an is antidotal is curative and causes a change uh, change back into other uh, uh, into other in accordance with the eternal law that governs the action of similar there was a time in the early days of homeopathy when taking into view the great array 
uh, of disease forms to be uh, contented with and the very few medicines then at his command the homeopath was worried to find similar uh, remedies similar to all his cases because there were only few proved remedies there were availability of the homeopathic remedies were very few at that time there was worry how we can meet how we can administer how we can find out the similar uh, medicine to all the things but when uh, many remedies are there with the full proving then we need not worry that cannot be true now if the homeopath <laughs> if the homeopathic will work in a systematic way he will be able to command enough of the materia medica to meet all the diseases that he comes in contact with the symptoms of which are sufficiently absurd sometimes even though there are many remedies well proved remedies sometimes we will miss the exact remedy which is indicated to the patient for example in a case in a case of asthma he was having asthma frequent asthma frequent fever and frequent cold and cough frequent vomiting much weakness he was much emaciated and in the early childhood uh, he was known to be having congenital heart disease to that patient we have tried with many remedies for example we have given antim tart vaselinum tuberculinum china though there was a little improvement a palliation no uh, radical cure for the boy he was not putting on weight he was not improving the parents were very much alarmed whenever he got any fever or asthma it uh, slowly it used to last for six, five days six days and seven days during that time he grew much weak after every attack at one time i have given baptisia 1m to that boy for the fever he was immediately responded for the first time for the fever without going to allopathy previously there was uh, much uh, many times there was need to go to allopathy then the fever did not subside <coughs> with baptisia 1m there is very good improvement and with that 1m the gap was very much increased for the frequent attacks but previously he was getting once in 3 weeks or one month after giving this baptisia when him not only that present uh, fever was subsided but he was very much better for 2 or 2 and a half months after which again it relapsed so thinking that the acute condition uh, he was having cold and cough and all these things again we started with basin without thinking that baptisia was the no might be the remedy because at that time because the fever was uh, uh, prolonged and also the patient was weak and uh, dull basing upon all these instincts the baptisia one name was given but when after two or two and a half months again the fever started with uh, cold and cough i did not give uh, baptisia directly again i have tried a tuberculum or streptomycin with which he was getting improvement but at that time even after three or four days there was no improvement so i thought why can't i give baptisia again so i have given baptisia one m to him immediately by next day he got very good improvement there was a very good improvement for three months he was very much better after three months again there was very much, there was much cough cold and fever so that time without any experiment i have directly given him <laughs> baptisia one m at that time next by next day he was normal to my surprise he was very much improved with only baptisia his cough was better asthma was cured frequent fevers completely cured he improved very much mentally and physically also he, uh, his weight improved he has grown tall with baptisia one m so his exact uh, remedy he needed was baptisia for him that baptisia worked as a chronic miasmatic remedy 
later uh, um, after echocardiogram the uh, congenital heart disease it was much better no problem it was completely cured before baptisia only it was completely cured but after baptisia till now i think it is it was 6 uh, to 7 months till now he is not sick he is very active active at studies also so sometimes even though there are many remedies well proved remedies are there like this we may miss and what the constitution will teach us it will produce a, an acute condition which will lead us to do that remedy for the acute condition but unfortunately after the acute condition subsides we may uh, think and we may miss that this remedy has uh, cured not only his acute condition but chronic condition also it has cured that we will miss normally what we think that uh, that was given only for that present acute condition but when we observe slowly his uh, complete condition will be cured by that yeah, the the nature is very kind enough that it will lead us to the exact remedy by creating the acute condition which is similar to that remedy <laughs> ah yeah in a, in a case of uh, menstrual disorder case though there were many remedies given every time she was getting menses uh, very regularly after getting menses uh, the discharge was continued for long time even after giving many remedies uh, trying many remedies there was no improvement one one time she got very horrible cough dry cough continuous cough which was subsided with drosera so i did not give any any other remedy i have maintained on drosera only for some time so my surprise there was very good improvement in next cycle menstrual cycle with the drosera itself it was um, at exact time it appeared and there was no much discharge after fifth day it was subsided and she improved very well with the drosera after two or three months when there was again menstrual disturbance i have given drosera only without trying for other medicines so sometimes uh, we we may in the beginning we may think uh, drosera will cure only cough but drosera is a chronic constitutional remedy it is having a, uh, drosera has very wonderful mental symptom with this mind we will definitely find out this is all these things now in cantometry america and also in the guiding from now a panjela to god ki vaad chena vaad chena pampich free ga chena pampichina vaade oppukole vaad double kharch avakunda vaade visa ka apply cheyakunda chena pampichina vaade oppukole సైకిల్ కట్ అయింది చైనాడు పరీక్ష వచ్చేది నవ్ వి గో త్రూ ది లెసర్ రైటింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ కెంట్ వి ఆర్ రీడింగ్ ది సిమిలిమమ్ చాప్టర్ 
this minimum is the is the curative power that every true healer in uh, is in search of and i take it for granted that every physician uh, in his heart is searching for truth then it must appear to all unprejudiced, unprejudiced minds that the name of a drug is no more the curative power uh, than the name of a disease is the disease to be cured as any given disease has an individuality in causes of varied intensity so will it uh, uh, its cure be in antagonism of the varied intensity one drop of aconite root may cure the aconite mental picture in one person and fail sign signally in many and the 200 to cure the case in a few hours i would not say many i i would not say may unless i had seen the work so when uh, aconite is, uh, aconite is uh, given in a, in a crude form there may be improvement in one case or two but not all but when aconite is given in 200 potency when indicated it will definitely cure in all the patients i had once under my care a patient whose symptoms were like those of sulfur as i had not advanced in knowledge beyond the six x i gave that remedy in the potency named with the with the what seemed to me astonishing relief finally sulfur 6x failed to give the continued relief although the agent for it was not a remedy was continuously repeated i compared the sulfur with the patient and sulfur seemed still indicated but i would uh, but it would not cure i must change so that lower potency in the beginning when in the beginning of his study he gave only in 6 6x potency i i changed and changed and finally the patient changed <laughs> i spoiled my case and felt like cussing somebody for it nobody to blame but myself <laughs> some 3 years later this patient finding nobody that <coughs> that could do any better <laughs> than i had done <laughs> bad it was bad as it was came back to me and by the way i have changed i had opened my eyes this patient has uh, had taken uh, my crude drugs but i then knew how to develop a case and cure it <laughs> he, he got the experience <laughs> he took nakswamika 2m for a few weeks with improvement but the same old burning on the top of the head and soles the same 11 am hungry stomach the same itching and the same not very well myself all there these symptoms have never met similimum <laughs> though he got improvement with nakshaika these sulfur symptoms are in the same way the famous sulfur 55m one single dose and sl made ast- astounding ch- changes that lasted for nearly 2 months when the returning uh, symptoms were uh, the signal for another dose three doses cured the case uh, permanently so with sulfur 6x 6x re- with repeated doses the case was spoiled crude so there was no change with any other uh, treatment because it was sulfur <laughs> so finally he came to him and with sulfur 55m three doses it was completely cured sulfur 55 m was the similimum sulfur 6x was therefore not the similimum sulfur was his remedy but the attenuation attenuation was next to be chosen why is this not true of any agent in the materia medica there is nothing new in these facts but it seems so so strange that there can be found a man with brains too small to comprehend it or too dishonest to own it 
are too skeptical to believe it <laughs> the microscopic panderers uh, the microcephalic panderers uh, to the loud mouthed igno uh, ignoramus igno ignoramuses are seeming to rule the world by their mighty majority but poor pure homeopathy has continued to grow and will continue to grow and the educated thinking people of the world will support it just as rapidly as they, they are made acquainted with it no man shall uh, shall tie me down uh, to the limits of a microscope or to his uh, own narrow sphere of observation or accepted truth the man that remains in the lower strata of potential similimums and demands that everybody worship with him uh, is too narrow to be called a healer or benefactor of man the similimum may be found in the lowest attenuations but is positively found for all curable diseases in the high and highest genuine potency then only it, it will be completely cured with uh, crude potencies it will not be cured completely the lesser writings of hanuman suggestions for the prevention of epidemics in general ah anka ee chapter unda ah prevention of epidemics in towns that chapter we are continuing before they quit the house both male and female attendants should bathe themselves each sex in separate apartment <laughs> and all their articles of clothing and the linen they have used during their residence in the hospital should be placed in an oven of about the temperature of a baker's oven after the bread has been removed about 120 rm and kept there for at least a quarter of an hour the vent hole being duly regulated at the time the pestiferous miasmata which have become attached to clothes linen beds etc can according to my observations be expelled uh, from such things and destroyed by no means more uh, certainly than by a heat of upwards uh, of 100 rem the higher the temperature the better even should the articles uh, suffer a little from its effect the celebrated cook expelled uh, in this manner the morbific vapors uh, that had become attached to the cabins of his ships and infected the walls the efficacy of uh, uh, this uh, measure is well known the earliest physicians discovered the wholesome effect of fire and heat in destroying the plague virus and their excellency cerebral uh, corroborated Uh, in our in infectious epidemics by howard uh, lind and campbell it is moreover remarkable that all the infection of typhus fever ceases when ships are under the line under the line after this is done all the other linen or woolen articles which have been used by the patients the straw mattresses after taking out uh, taking out the straw the towels sheets etc should also be exposed for a fully an hour to the same heat in the oven and thereafter the bed bedsteads after they have been well scoured uh, should be put in the oven and left there till it cools a heat la betu malle adu cool ayya varaku thattane untu annadu the straw out of the mattresses uh the accumulated sweepings rags bandages scrubbing cloths brooms and other articles of small value should be burnt in the courtyard in the doctor's presence <laughs> doctor's presence sir i am never going to be able to cheyali ekkada evadu nenu cheyadaniki villekunda 
in his presence the attendants should leave the house all together and the sent, uh, sent, uh, sentinels should be withdrawn the house may be allowed to stand empty and reserved for similar purposes on a future occasion uh, one of the best deserving uh, male attendants with his wife being allowed to live in it um, grat uh, gratuitously as housekeeper their business would be to see that the uh, building is kept in good, good repair in case it is required for another epidemic a house of this description and so arranged might subsequently be used with the greatest advantage with some slight modifications in epidemics of smallpox measles dysentery and other infectious maladies dangerous to the population and my, uh, might be the means of uh, preserving many useful citizens to the state there might be a few beds kept there permanently for the reception of all sick journeymen beggars and tamper tampers uh, from the inns and lodging houses a fine being imposed for the concealment of such cases whereby a source of epidemics of no small importance but one that is frequently overlooked might be effectually checked at, at its origin ఎంత డీప్గా దిస్ షుడ్ బి జూలీ ఇంపోజ్డ్ అపాన్ ది హౌస్ కీపర్ ఇన్ రిటర్న్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ ఫ్రీ డ్వెల్లింగ్ వాడిని అక్కడ ఫ్రీగా ఉండమన్నారు కదా అంత మంచి ఇంటో అని చేత వాడు చేయాల్సింది ఇది డ్యూటీ బట్ అట్ ది సేమ్ టైమ్ హీ షుడ్ రిసీవ్ అన్ అడెక్వేట్ నాట్ పాల్ట్రీ రెమ్యూనరేషన్ ఫర్ ఈచ్ పేషెంట్ హూ రికవర్స్ whenever he leaves the house if the remuneration be not very be not very small he and his friends take good care to be ever on the watch of a watch for any such patients uh, that that may have slipped into the town and he uh, he will do his utmost to obtain it as speedily as possible by the rapid recovery of the patient to the great advantage of this state and of the patient వాడి రెమ్యూనరేషన్ దగ్గర నుంచి దే ఆర్ రీడింగ్ క్రానిక్ డిసీజెస్ ఆఫ్ హ్యానిమన్ ది ప్రిఫేస్ స్టిల్ వీ ఆర్ వైన్ టు ది ప్రిఫేస్ ప్రిఫేస్ టు ది ఫోర్త్ వాల్యూమ్ అనసిస్టెడ్ ది వైటల్ ఫోర్స్ అనసిస్టెడ్ ది వైటల్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ నో మ్యాచ్ టు దీస్ హోస్టైల్ పవర్స్ it hardly opposes a force equal to the hostile operation and this indeed with many signs of its own sufferings uh, which we call morbid symptoms by its own power our vital force would never be able to overcome the foe of chronic disease nor even to conquer transient diseases without considerable losses inflicted on some parts of the organism if it remained uh, without external aid without the assistance of genuine remedies to give such support uh, is the duty enjoined on the physicians understanding by the preserver of the life as i have said about the vital force hardly opposes an equal opposition to the foe causing the disease and yet no enemy can be overcome except by a superior force only homeopathic medicine uh, can give uh, this superior power to the invalidated vital force ముందు ముందు ప్రిఫెసర్లు చెప్పాడు కదా నేను ఒక్కడనే దీన్ని కనిపెట్టగలిగాను అనేటువంటిది ప్రపంచంలో మిగతా వాళ్ళు ఎవరైనా తెలుసుకోగలిగితే పర్వాలేదు 
నేను ఏదో ఇలా చెప్తున్నాను ఇప్పుడు ఉన్నటువంటి జనరేషన్ వాళ్ళు తెలుసుకోపోయినా నష్టం లేదు తర్వాత వాళ్ళైనా తెలుసుకుంటారు అన్నాడు చాలా కాన్ఫిడెంట్ అసలు బట్ ఇఫ్ ఈ ఫిజిషియన్స్ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు ప్రెసెంట్ అండ్ ఆపోజిట్ అపోజ్ టు దిస్ ఇన్స్టింక్టివ్ వైటల్ ఫోర్స్ ఇట్స్ మార్బిఫిక్ ఎనిమీ యాజ్ ఇట్ వర్ మ్యాగ్నిఫైడ్ త్రూ ది యాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ హోమియోపతిక్ మెడిసిన్స్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి ఎన్లార్జ్డ్ ఎవ్రీ టైమ్ ఓన్లీ బై ఏ దాంట్లో ఏమి ఇచ్చాడు దీంట్లో దీంట్లో ఓన్లీ బై ఏ కాదు ప్రింట్ పోయింది లిటిల్ లిటిల్ ఓన్లీ బై ఎ లిటిల్ ఇఫ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే ది ఇమేజ్ ఆఫ్ ది మార్బిఫిక్ ఫో బి మ్యాగ్నిఫైడ్ టు ది అప్రహెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది వైటల్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ through homeopathic medicines uh, which in a delusive manner uh, simulate the original disease we gradually akada poi na cause and compel this instinctive vital force to increase its energies by degrees and to increase them more and more and at last to such a degree that it becomes far more powerful than the original the consequence of this is that the vital force again becomes a sovereign in its domain can again hold and direct the reins of sanitary progress while the apparent increase of disease caused by homeopathic medicines disappears of itself as soon as we seeing the preponderance of the restored vital force that is of the restored health cease to use these remedies the fund are the fundamental essence of this spiritual vital principle imparted to us men by the infinitely merciful creator he is incredibly great if we physicians understand how to maintain its integrity in days of health by directing men to a healthy mode of living and how to invoke and augment in uh, augment it in diseases by purely homeopathic treatment of itself this adhadalisa uh, of itself this vital principle being only an organic vital force intended to preserve an undisturbed health opposes only a weak resistance to the invalid invading morbific enemy as the disease grows and increases it opposes a greater resistance but at best it is only an equal resistance with weakly patients it is not even equal but weaker this force is neither capable nor destined nor created uh, for an overpowering powering resistance which will do no harm to itself kent materia medica Kent's lectures on homeopathic committee in America. Valerian. This remedy cures many nervous and hysterical phenomena in excitable women and children and the complaints of the hypochondriac. great nervous excitability exaltation hysterical contractures trembling palpitation sense of levitation paroxysmal respiration stitching pains tension in the limbs jerking twitching globus hysterical sensation of something warm rising from the stomach causing paroxysmal suffocation 
all the nerves are in a fret over sensitiveness of all the senses great nervous restlessness all these general symptoms come on during rest and are ameliorated by motion and moving about fainting easily slight exer exertion brings on symptoms complaints change about and pains wander from place to place it is a great remedy for uh, uh, numerous non descript nervous <laughs> numerous non descript <laughs> non descript nervous manifestations that come in spinal irritation when there is amelioration by motion and aggravation by much exertion exertion brings on headache in these cases stitching pains all over the body during rest the mental state is the state is often ecstatic or hysterical the mind undergoes rapid changes in disposition and ideas the mental symptoms come on at night these images animals and men the mental state is of uh, one of uh, extreme activity tension excitement passes from one subject to another erroneous ideas thinks she is someone else moves to the edge of the bed to make room imagines animals lying near her uh, which she fears she may hurt pakala animals unnai thanu jarigite debadenta ayi chevarku bedike varike fear in the evening in, in the dark symptoms aggravated in the dark great sadness and irritability morose easily exasperated mental symptoms come on during rest while sitting and lying and go off on way walking about vertigo when stooping feels light as if floating in air violent nervous headaches in evening during rest ameliorated by motion stupefying pains in head stitching tearing pain sensation of great coldness in head headache from exposure to the heat and light of the sun aggravated in the open air and from a draft pain in forehead and through through the eyes tension and constriction of the scalp icy coldness in vertex wild look in the eyes flashes of light before the eyes in the dark pressure in the eyes in the morning smarting in the eyes vision very sharp hearing acute jerking pains hissing and ringing in ears <coughs> face red and hot in open air stitching in face and teeth sudden jerking pain in the face twitching in the muscles and drawing pain in face neuralgia of face aggravated during rest thickly coated tongue rancid taste flat taste in the mouth on waking sensation as if a thread were hanging down the throat with salivation and vomiting <coughs> voracious voracious hunger with nausea edo ela addu podutunnattu ga ee sting ilaaga vidu ummi minginna appudu vomiting vachina appudu ela edo daaram idu avutunnattu ga అదే ప్లంబం మెట్లు అయితే ఈ బొడ్డు దగ్గర నుంచి వెనక్కి నేవల్ టు స్పైనల్ కార్ దారం పెట్టి లాగుతున్నట్టు ఒరేషియా సంగర్ విత్ నాసియా సింటమ్స్ ఎగ్రవేటెడ్ వెన్ స్టమక్ ఈస్ ఎంటీ ఎమ్యులరేటెడ్ ఆఫ్టర్ బ్రేక్ ఫాస్ట్ కంప్లైంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫాస్టింగ్ ఎరెక్టేషన్స్ లైక్ స్పాయిల్డ్ ఎగ్స్ మార్నింగ్ ఎరెక్టేషన్ ఆఫ్ ర్యాన్సిడ్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ నాసియా ఫెయింట్నెస్ బాడీ ఐస్ కోల్డ్ చిల్ చైల్డ్ child vomits as soon as it nurses after mother has been angry a child ke andar bhi veyada child vomits curdled milk milk in lumps distended abdomen cutting pain in abdomen colic cramps in hysterical women in evening in bed and after dinner watery diarrhea with the curds in infants greenish shape apparent stool and blood with cramp in abdomen and tenesmus in children worms in stool prolapses in the anus when straining to pass urine copious frequent urination in nervous women 
sediment of urine red and white menses late and scanty choking in throat pit on falling asleep wakens as if suffocating inspirations grown less deep and more rapid until they cease then she catches her breath by a sobbing effort in spells compare ignatia oxalicest paroxysmal respiration hysterical and very nervous woman globus hysterical jerking the stitching pain in chest operation of the chest with uh, lump in the throat <coughs> stitching in right side of the chest and liver stitching in heart with the pulse quick small and weak pain in small of back during rest ameliorated by walking rheumatic pains in scapulae rheumatic pains in all the limbs aggravated during rest after uh, previous exertion ameliorated walking drawing jerking of limbs and twitching of muscles during rest heaviness in limbs drawing feels as though uh, must move the limbs but cannot darting pains in arms and shoulders drawing uh, in the muscles with stitching pains in the arms hysterical contractures in hands and arms crampy darting tearing like an electrical shock repeatedly through the humorous uh, intensely painful cramp in biceps when writing pain along the uh, sciatic when standing ameliorated walking tearing pain in high upward to uh, thigh upward to hip tearing in calf when crossing the limbs tearing in muscles of thighs during rest violent drawing jerking pains in a, in lower limbs during rest drawing in thighs legs and tendo achilles when sitting ameliorated walking pain in ankles after exertion ascending stairs ameliorated walking drawing in tarsal joints when sitting pains in heel during rest violent drawing jerking pains in lower limbs and hip aggravated standing hysterical cramps in lower limbs calves and feet sleepless before midnight cramps in hands and feet prevent sleep vivid dreams symptoms aggravated on walking valeriana in clark dictionary of metro america valeriana officinalis valerinaceae one form ha form pincher of the fresh root valeria officinalis is usually found in moist a uh, hedgerows are on the banks of ditches and streams the peculiar fetid odor of valerians is probably due to the presence of valerianic acid it is especially agreeable to cats who become as it were intoxicated with it a uh, volatile oil of valerian seems not to uh, exist naturally in the plant but to be developed by the agency of water Valeriana first appeared in homeopathic medicine in Stapp's editions the article on it was written by French and Hanneman and Stapp were among the provers when French wrote it was the custom among ladies in Germany to take valerian almost as frequently as coffee and to this practice he attributed no little of the nervous suffering then prevalent there is scarcely a drug he says which communicates its primary as well as secondary action to the organism with more intensity than valerian he inst- he instanced uh, his own eye symptoms uh, which were both severe and remarkable and of them uh, he says that though he had never uh, had any tendency to anything of that uh, of the kind before 
they were excited at intervals of uh, intervals for four months afterwards the cause being frequently unknown showing the deep action of the organism the many inveterate spasms of the stomach and abdomen the incurable cases of hysteria and hypochondria moral moral disturbances passing from one extreme of emotion to another uh, from the highest joy to the deepest grief from uh, leniency kindness and mildness uh, to gr- grumbling impatience obstinacy and quarrel quarrelsomeness from a sinking of the vital forces accompanied by a painful craving for stimulants to the greatest liveliness and uh, extravagance and vice versa tedious convalescence uh, after nervous fevers paralysis and contractions of the limbs etc these in french uh, french's opinion uh, were much less owing to the original intensity of the disease than to the malaria uh, with which the patients had been dosed, dosed. Uh, and, and they were very they were only saved uh, from worse effects by the fact that valeria na was so frequently given in combination with one or more of its antidotes some notes by franz are important number 1 the first and uh, most rapid effect of valeria na which precedes any after symptoms is an acceleration of the pulse and congestion of the head number 2 the symptoms of the upper and lower limbs alternate frequently Number three, the principal time of the day of valeria na produces its symptoms are noon and early afternoon, uh, and the hours before midnight. The abdominal symptoms especially are felt in the evening. Number four, valeria na causes several kinds of darting, tearing pains which come and go. Similar to these pains are the, are those which appear suddenly. if we compare with these two kinds of pains the jerking pains which are scarcely felt in any other uh, than muscular tissues and the ca- ca- cramping pains uh, we have a, a very easy and natural indication of the grounds on which tissarts recommendation of valeriana for epilepsy might be considered valid the eye symptoms of frange were burning smarting and pressure in the margins of the lids which seemed sore and swollen but in addition was this uh, which shows the exalted state of sensorium valeriana can produce shine before the eyes in the dark the closed dark room seemed to be filled with the shine of the of twilight uh, so that he imagined the, he distinguished the objects in the same this was accompanied with a sensation as if he felt the things that things were near him even when not looking at them on looking he perceived that the things were really there at 10 pm 13 hours after the door dose this kind of almost 3 hours later there were also hallucinations of hearing and of sense imagine that she is one uh, someone else and moves to the edge of the bed to make room was removed in one case anxious hypochondriac feeling as if the objects around him around him uh, had been taken uh, from him the room appears to him dislocate as a uh, desolate as does not as does not feel at home in the room uh, he is compelled to leave it as if in a dream the restlessness of valeriana is very prominent feature nervous irritation cannot keep still tearings cramps emirated in the morning constant heat and uneasiness the digestion is disturbed the taste caused by valeriana is as disgusting as its odor before dinner a taste of fetid tallow uh, early in the morning on waking the taste is flat slimy nausea brings uh, begins in the umbilical region rising into pharynx in the preface to to his pocket book boyning hasan gives a case which brings out many of the valeriana characteristics en50 of blooming almost florid complexion usually cheerful but during his most uh, violent paroxysms inclined to outbreaks uh, of anger which with a decided nervous excitement had suffered for uh, four months with a peculiar violent kind of pain in the right leg and after the previous uh, dispersion uh, allopathically 
of a so-called rheumatic pain in the right orbit by external remedies which could not be found out this last pain attacked the muscle of the posterior part of the leg especially from calf to heel but it did not involve the knee or ankle joint the pain itself be described as extremely acute cramping jerking tearing frequently interrupted by stitches extending from within outward but in the morning hours uh when the pain was uh, generally more endurable uh, it was a dull burrowing with a bruised feeling the pain became aggravated towards evening and during rest especially after previous motion while sitting and standing particularly if he did it uh, during a walk in the open air while walking uh, the pain has uh, pain often jumped from the right calf of the uh, calf to the left upper arm if he put his hand into into his coat pocket or his breast and kept the arm quiet uh, but it was ameliorated while using the arm and then the pain suddenly jumped back into the right calf <laughs> the greatest relief was experienced while walking up and down the room and uh, rubbing the affected part the concomitant symptoms were sleeplessness before midnight frequently recurring attacks during the evening of uh, sudden flashes of heat with thirst without previous chill a disgusting fatty taste in the mouth with nausea in the throat and an almost constant pressing pain in the lower, lower part of the chest and pit of the stomach as it were uh, as if something were uh, there forcing itself out <laughs> outward of course valeriana was the remedy valeriana valeriana has a strong affinity for the tendo achilles as i have cured with it many cases of painful affection of this tendon and heel when valeriana conditions were present nash cured with it a severe case of sciatica in a pregnant woman on the symptom pain aggravated by standing and letting the foot rest on the floor she could stand with the foot resting on a chair or lie down in a, in, a, in comfort valeriana is a leading member of the group of remedies which meet lack of reaction it is suited to hysterical women who have taken too much chamomile tea <laughs> number 2 nervous irritable hysterical subjects in whom the ineffectual faculties Uh, intellectual faculties predominate and who suffer from hysteria and neuralgia it meets the nervous affections occurring in excitable temperaments in hypochondria as it claims the nervousness uh, abates the excitement of the circulation uh, removes the wakefulness promotes sleep and induces a sensation of quiet quietude quietude and comfort sadness is removed in globus in all uh, as asthmatical and hysterical coughs nervous palpitation of the heart profuse flow of uh, limpid urine quoted by herring red parts become white is another indication of herring among sensations are as if flying in the air as if ice would be pierced from within outward as if smoke in ice as if a thread were hanging down the throat as if something forcing a passage if, uh, through pit of the stomach as if something warm were rising from the stomach as if something pressed out of out in the in lower chest as if from cold or overlifting pain in loins as if uh, he, he had strained uh, left lumbar region as if an electric shock through humerus uh, as if through uh, thigh would break as if strained in right ankle as if bruised in outer malleolus of right foot uh, lightness in leg like uh, lead in limbs the symptoms are aggravated by touch blisters on cheek and lip rubbing ameliorates cramp in calf pressure of hand or covering with hat causes icy coldness on vertex early uh, decubitus in typhoid slight injury causes spasms rest sitting standing aggravate motion ameliorates uh, moving eyes aggravate headache bending neck back aggravates pain in occiput straightening out limb aggravates sciatica aggravates noon 
aggravated at noon aggravated before midnight cannot sleep before midnight profuse sweat at night aggravated open air draft of air ameliorated after sleep aggravated by fasting ameliorated after a meal causation injuries slight injury causes spasms bed sores uh, forum soon in typhoid so this is for today स्वस्तिजाभ्य पिपालयता मगेण महेम महेशा गोब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्त नीचम लोका समस्त सुखिनो का समस्ता सुखिनो लोका सम...